Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I wanted to show you how to do this uh, scarf. It's a very easy stitch, one row repeat and this is a reversible stitch. So front and back are the same. You can put tassels, fringes if you like. If not, you can leave it like this. And these are the, the sides of the, the scarf. But it's really, really warm, this one. And the fact that it's reversible, you can either do a scarf, an infinity scarf, or even a, a hat, or a blanket. Yeah. This scarf is long, I will give you in centimeters. Uh, this scarf is long as 1 uh, meter and 40 centimeters. And it's wide as uh, 14 centimeters. If you want to make it wider, then you're going to chain more chains. If you want longer, then you're going to do as long as you like the, the scarf to be. For this project, you're going to need some yarn. So I'm using this yarn. This yarn I bought in uh, what you guys in the United States call it the Dollar, dollar Tree or something like this. Uh, here it's called Daiso. It says here Daiso. This uh, yarn recommends that I should use the crochet hook 4.0 millimeter crochet hook and 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. So this scarf I did it so I went in between 4 and 5 I went with 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're gonna use uh, whatever the number the crochet hook that your yarn recommends. Yeah? And this one one skein has 60, uh, 60 grams. So for this scarf I used 180 grams. And at the end I'm going to show you, for you guys that you are the beginners, how to, to close uh, the, the scarf. Yeah? Many of you, you know how to, to close, hide the, the tail and all that. Yeah? The stitch, like I said, has uh, one row repeat. It's really nice, this, uh, this scarf. Okay, for this uh, this scarf, you're gonna chain multiples of four. For this uh, scarf that I just did, I chained twenty four chains. So if you want wider than that, then you're gonna go by four. You're gonna put twenty eight, yeah, or thirty two. Depends the yarn, the the size of your yarn. Yeah, this is quite well. Let's say thick. I'm going to use now 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. So with this we're going to chain multiples of four. I have here 20 chains. We're going to skip the first three chains, one, two, three, and into the fourth chain we're going to do two double crochets. So we're going to do the, the first one and then into the same uh, chain, we're gonna do the second double crochet. This is how you're gonna start each row yeah, with two double crochet in the beginning. So now we're gonna skip the next three chains one, two, three, and into the fourth chain, we're gonna do a single crochet, chain one, then into the same chain where we did this single crochet, we're gonna put in there three double crochets. So one. Go back again into the same chain and do the second and now the third double crochet into the same chain. So you have it like this. And again, this row is going to be like this. We're going to skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and into the fourth we're going to do first a single crochet, chain one, and into the same chain we're going to put in there three double crochets. So one, two, and the third double crochet. We're going to skip the next three chains and into the fourth we're going to repeat single crochet first, chain one, and three double crochets into that same chain. So one, two, and the third one. 
So you're going to be left with four chains. One, two, three, four. We're going to skip the next three chains. One, two, three. And into the fourth, the last one, we're going to do only one single crochet. Yeah. Okay. Now you're going to chain two. Turn your work. And like I said, from this moment forward, this is going to be the row that you're going to repeat on and on and on until you finish your project. Okay, so like I said, the first stitch, we're always going to start with two double crochets. We're going to put in that first stitch. Yeah. So the second, and with the chain, you have three. Yeah. The chain and the two double crochets in total, three. Now, we have here the first cluster of three double crochets, and then the chain one and single crochet. Yeah. So we're going to skip the first two double crochets, so the first two stitches, and into the third double crochet here, we're going to go behind that and we're going to do a single crochet, a front post single crochet, chain one, and in this one chain space in there, we're going to do three double crochets. So one, two, and three. So now you're going to move to the next cluster. So you have one, one, two, three double crochets here, and the chain one, and the next is the single crochet. Yeah. So we're going to skip the first two double crochets, and into the third, we're going to do a front post single crochet, chain one, and into that one chain space, we're going to put in there three double crochets. So one, two and three. We're going to move to the next cluster of double crochets, keep the first two and into the third we're going to go behind that. If you can see. Okay, so we're going to do a front post single crochet, chain one, and into that one chain space here we're going to put three double crochets. So one, two, and three. You see? This is the front post single crochet that we did. And right behind it is that one chain space. And now at the end we have two double crochets and the chain. We're going to skip the next stitches, all this, one, two, three, and into the fourth, which means that the chain that we skipped in the beginning, on top of that chain, through the chain, we're going to do a single crochet. You're always going to finish with a single crochet at the end. So now chain two, and we're going to repeat the, the row. I'm going to do one more row with you, and then I'm going to stop. The first stitch is here, we're going to do in there two double crochets. So one, and two, the first cluster is here, skip the first two double crochet and the third one we're going to do a front post single crochet. Chain one and you're going to kind of have to push this away a little bit and then you have behind that you have the space there, the one chain space in which you're going to put in there three double crochets. So working with this 5.0 millimeter crochet hook, the the stitch it's a little bit loose. I wanted the, the scarf that I did and I showed you, I wanted to, to be a little bit tighter, so that's why I went in between 4.0. Yeah. So now again we're gonna move to the next cluster, we're gonna skip the first two double crochets and into the third, we're gonna do a front post single crochet, chain one. And in that one chain space in there, we're going to do three double crochets. Okay, move to the next cluster, skip the first two double crochet, the third one, do a front post single crochet, chain one, and into that one chain space in there, you're going to do three double crochets. So this is the, the stitch. It's a very easy stitch, goes really fast and it builds fast. So now at the end, we're going to skip one, two, three, and into the fourth with 
it, which is the, the chain 2, on top of the, the second chain, we're going to do in there a single crochet. Then you're going to chain 2 and you're going to repeat. First stitch is here, you're going to do 2 double crochets. Then you're going to skip the next 2 double crochets and the third, you're going to do a front bow single crochet and into that one chain space here, you're going to put 3 double crochets and then you move to the next cluster and so on. Now I want to show you, for those of you that you don't know, how to close this. So let's say you finish your scarf and you think that it has enough. The, the length you want to close the, the work <coughs> then let's finish the last cluster of this scarf yeah. so I'm gonna skip the next two double crochets and into the third front post single crochet chain one and then into that one chain space I'm gonna put in there three double crochets second and the third. And at the end I'm gonna go straight to the chain, the top chain, and do a single crochet, chain one, pull up a loop, and then you're gonna take the scissors and then you're gonna cut the yarn. And now with this loop you're gonna pull one of the, the sides. Okay. And that's gonna make a knot. And now you're gonna hide the, the tail. So you're gonna go to the first stitch here. So you're gonna pull the yarn, turn your scarf, then go to the next stitch and then pull like this, turn it back and then you move to the next stitch and you keep doing like this until you hide the tail. So turn back again. You go to the next stitch in there. And you're gonna do like this until the tail disappears. You move to the next stitch and you and so on. I keep turning like this because it hides underneath the the stitch and you don't see where the the tail is. Yeah. So you keep doing like this and after you hide it, the scarf is done. Yeah. So you can uh, try this. For beginners I think for you guys will be just perfect this, uh, this scarf to do. Well, I have to say with this, you might have to, to make sure that you have enough yarn. So like I said, one meter and 40 centimeters long, this scarf, and uh, 14 centimeters uh, wide. If you want, and I used 180 grams of yarn. If you want bigger, longer and wider, then uh, make sure that you have at least 240 grams. Depends how long you want uh, the scarf to be. You see? It's a very nice uh, a stitch to do this. Yeah. You can have it like this. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for watching. I hope you try this, uh, this stitch and you will uh, like it. Yeah. Thank you for watching again. Bye-bye.